Hello everyone. So today I have a bit of a, a haul video. Now this is a mixture of Timu and also a few miniatures which I found on Etsy. And so I thought instead of um, doing two separate um, haul videos, I thought I'll just combine them all into one because they're basically they're, they're both miniatures anyway. Um, I do have some craft supplies uh, from Timu, uh, but they are to do with me making miniatures, um, or mostly me making miniatures anyway. So they're, they're all kind of together. Um, I do have a couple of miscellaneous stuff as well, so I'm actually I'll share those with you first of all. I have a bit of a stub away that I didn't realise was in my basket, but that's fine. It's <laughs> really cute, and um, but I have some really, really, really beautiful um, some miniatures that I got from Etsy. I'm very, very pleased with those. So do stick around to the end, and I show you those because oh, they're beautiful. And I've also got some really cool miniatures from Team as well, actually, which I'm I'm really excited to put inside my um, my dollhouse because I've got some stuff which is for the the brothel the sex shop dollhouse and then I have some for my professor Okio house as well um so with that being said I'm just going to crack straight into it so first of all like I said, I'm just going to show you this uh, miscellaneous stuff so these things here I have had my eyes on these for quite a while now and they are little torches to go on your crocs and they also they have flashing lights and strobe lights and a flickering light and uh, they just sit in, inside your croc very handy so when i go out at night time if i'm wearing my crocs then i know i'm not going to stand in anything that i shouldn't be standing in and if i just want to mime away you know if i'm going out to the back garden i'm on my way to the garage to the dryer i've got my little torches on um i've had to put these back in the box because these i've been wearing these ever since these arrived a few days ago and oh they're brilliant even as handy as something is when I'm going to give the dogs a kiss at night, they're in opposite ends of the room in the little beds, and then normally I put the torch on my watch and I'm shining around, but now I just put these on my shoes. Oh, amazing. So I'm very happy with those. They were £3 and 5p. So and they do come with the batteries included in it as well. So um those are very, very, very handy. And they come in loads of different colours: pinks, blacks, reds, you name it. So this thing here was a stowaway i didn't realize it was in my basket but i don't mind because i really like enamel pins anyway and it is the luck dragon from never ending story so i do like to put enamel pins on my travel bags um when i'm going away so it definitely has a, a home so that was really cute and that was two pound 48 timu has they are pretty much everything if you like enamel pins then um, they are pretty much everything. Loads of classic films. Um, I even I got one. I did pull it out just in case I wanted to show you. Um, okay, no, don't have it at hand. Uh, but I got a really cool. One second. Okay, found them. So I got these two on a previous haul um, to go with my little collection. And so there are Ninja Turtles. I'm a 90s kid, so absolutely obsessed with Ninja Turtles when I was a kid. They were my favourite, and I had Ninja Turtle everything. And then I have this Garden, Guardians of the Galaxy cassette. I love Guardians of the Galaxy, and obviously 90s kid cassettes. So those are awesome. I don't remember what those were, and I got them a while back, but I didn't I didn't share that haul. Um, and then, like I say, the Deluxe Dragon will uh, go quite nicely with those, but I didn't actually realise I had it in my basket. But it's fine. It's cool. The other thing, uh, which is miscellaneous, is I've got myself this steam mask. So basically, you you know, you put it in hot water, and um, and then you put it on your face. There's a little gap for your nose to stick through, and this is really, really soft, really soft, and they call it a hot compress towel, um, compress towel, and that was fifty seven p, absolute bargain. So it's um, I can't wait to try that. I might actually put that on later on this evening. So it's uh yeah, it's very very nice. So that's that out of the way. So that's my just random stuff. So now I'm going to look at some miniatures. So these things here, these are wellington boots and i had a look at these and i was looking at these for a while but i imagined that they're quite rigid but they're not they're actually made of rubber 
and they're really cool green. And I have on my Professor Okio um, project, I have a roof garden, which is um, there for me to be able to make garden stuff. And uh, I want to start doing that soon because I do have gardening on my mind because I actually have an allotment. That's my way of the hobby. I have an allotment. And so um, now that spring's coming around, I want to start making spring things and gardening things and, and everything. And I feel like these boots, just a little bit of a an updo on these. Imagine like a, a little cuff on them and make them look like, um, oh, what's that Brenda Wellington's? I can't remember, but you know the one I mean. That has the... Um, the cuff on it there, a little bit of paint to colour the soles, a bit of mud, and they will be really, really, really cute. And they were only 99p, and they come in different colours as well. I think there was green, well, obviously green. Um, I think there was red, black, pink. Um, I don't think I've seen yellow, but yellow would be really cool if they were yellow. I mean, they could be yellow. Maybe some different vendors have yellow. So um, those are really, really awesome. I don't know whether to have those by the front door of Professor Okio's house or if I'll have them on the roof. I don't know. But yeah, those are awesome. Okay, so I got a toilet. Now this toilet, is, I got it because it looks like a, like a modern day toilet and most dollhouse toilets, they, um, you know, they're, they're not very nice, those little porcelain things. But I am a bit concerned about the size. Now, I know that this isn't one sixth. This is way too big to, uh, sorry, way too small to be one sixth. But I feel like it's it's a little bit larger than one twelve. Um, so this little figure is a one twelfth figure. And then, sorry, one twelfth scale figure. And then when we sit her on the toilet, she just looks a little bit out of place. Like when you look at the size of the back of the toilet, I mean, obviously our body isn't filled out and completed yet, so maybe that could have something to do with it because she has these little skinny pipe cleaner legs at the moment. Um, but, I don't know, I just feel like maybe it's a bit wide. It doesn't actually show up the same on camera as what it does in life. Like, it looks like there's a big size difference in life. But either way, I am going to use it in the in my one to scale uh, dollhouse. And what I'm actually going to use it for is in the in the brothel dollhouse where um i'm gonna have a a strip club upstairs i'm gonna have a toilet i'm gonna build like a side room and uh i'm gonna have a, a toilet with um you know make it a bit grimy and glory holes and graffiti and all of that type of stuff as it's that kind of establishment so it will go in there and i can maybe disguise it with a bit of a, a barrier or whatever but that is really cool um, and that was only one pound 68 so, and it is made of plastic and uh, yeah I am I am happy with it slightly larger than I was expecting but I am very very happy so next thing are these really really cute seats with a table and they are tree stumps now it feels like these are a resin yeah these are a resin if you look for these oh by the way I will leave the links to everything which I've ordered from Timu and etsy i'll leave the links uh, providing they are still available Um, if the link isn't there then it, they're probably just not available at the time um so yeah i'll uh i'll remember to do that so for this whole set i mean these are really cute i don't know what scale they are but they are really really sweet and the whole set was only one pound fifteen now, I didn't realise this at the time because I would have found one or the other first and I also had a single one in my basket and then I didn't realise until it was after and it was on its way but I paid £1.35 just for the sing singular stump. So, and it's the exact same miniature at £1.35 but for £1.15 I got that whole set. So, you know, it's definitely something for you to look out on Timu because different vendors have different prices and so on. But that is really, really cute. Maybe I'll use it on my rooftop garden. Maybe I'll do a separate diorama with it. Um, yeah, or well, maybe make some little gnomes or something. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Really excited. It will need a bit of a paint job because um, that red, it looks like someone spilt fence paint over it or something. But um, yeah, it's very sweet. Oh, 
Okay. Next, I ordered some more glassware. So this one, which is the 30 millimeter transparent, and this one is a 20 millimeter transparent. Now they do have these in that amber color glass as well, but when I ordered, there wasn't any of it in stock, and those are the ones which I would have liked to have had. So I do have quite a bit of clear glass. But these are, I've not even opened this one to make sure that it's not damaged. Um, these are gonna come in really handy in my Professor Okio's um, office and or first of all price wise before i cut these things off the large one was two pound 98 and my smaller one was two pound 38 but yeah these are they're going to be really useful in my professor okio's office and um i'm thinking now that i've got a uh, this order over here from it i have something quite cool which i could put inside one of them um i mean i may not 100 percent use them for that Etsy order, um, but they're definitely going to be used inside there because you know, he's an explorer and he collects oddities and you know, really cool stuff. He's a scientist, uh, a botanist, and you know, he, uh, he studies fairies and mythical creatures and all of that sort of stuff. So these two are going to be used inside that project. So those are awesome. The lids do move. Like I said they do come in that amber glass, which I am going to keep an eye out for when those are back in stock and um, get some of those. I think I might order a few of them so that I can have them all on the shelves. Okay, so next we have a pair of earrings. Now the reason why I bought these earrings is because in my brothel, um, my sex shop, I'm just grabbing miniatures here so if you if you follow my channel for actual miniatures then in my recent videos for my um, my sex shop and my dollhouse I made these two mannequins and then I was waiting for something to come up um, which is coming up for it to arrive um, but it, it arrived later than I needed. But this product here relates to this. So this is Shibari rope tie-in, which is a, a form of Japanese bondage. And so when I was doing a bit of shopping on Timu, I just typed in Shibari to see what would um, come up on there. And then I found these shibari earrings now obviously i'm not going to use those as earrings i'm going to use those as miniatures inside the dollhouse so i'll cut off the the finding parts and i'll use those as actual statues and place them around so they'll probably be in the shop or maybe upstairs as an ornament or something and they were one pound 88 so obviously if you like to wear jewelry like that they're awesome they're beautiful and this rope dress is actually quite similar to the one which I put on this mannequin, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, those were one pound 88. So they'll look really cool inside that project. Then whilst we're looking at that, I actually got two other things here, which are for that project. So I ordered two of these. One of them was by mistake. I didn't realize that I had two inside my basket, but it's fine because what I'm thinking now that I've looked at them is that I can actually use them as a lampshade. I'm going to turn them into a lampshade. So these were £1.78 and they're they actually a necklace. Now they come with a chain. So I won't be using the chains for anything like that. But the statue, oh sorry, the dependents are bondage and she's tied up and blindfolded. So what my plan is for these, as I have two, originally I, I thought I only had the one, I was just gonna use it as a statue inside the project somewhere. Um, but now that I have two of them, I see lamps. So I will put lampshades on them and try and fix something into it. Hopefully I'll get it working with electric, but I'm not sure, but they are really, really awesome. So, and they're, they're actually metal and they're really heavy as well. But as a, a pair of lamps, I think they'll look really cool. And actually, whilst I was looking at those pendants, I, um, I, I realized afterwards that 
this was actually in there as well. I don't remember putting it in my basket, uh, but it ended up in my basket somehow, and it's another one of those pendants. Um, it wouldn't really fit inside the sex shop, but it looks like she's got some sort of demon mask on. Um, I can't really tell because of the glare, but it's a really cool piece. It's not something I would wear, um, but I would probably change the color of this and turn it into some sort of really cool artifact to go inside Professor Okio's house. So I definitely won't go to waste. I definitely find a use for it. I actually have in that same house on the top floor, I have a, a pendant which I bought from there and it's of a, a hanging skeleton. And it's, you know, from this kind of range. Because you can really find anything on, on Timu. Anytime I want something for my dollhouses, I just go and have a look on there. And chances are, it's there. Which is amazing. So. Something else which I ordered. And I'd been looking at these for quite a while. Um, but I just, I just never went through and bought them. Because I wasn't sure what they're going to be like. But I decided to go ahead. And these are... Um, what are they called? They're like little charms. And I got the 50 gram bag and these were £2.24 and you do get a lot of stuff. And these, like a lot of this stuff is actually going to be really useful inside a doll's house. So this little handsaw definitely can go inside one spot scale doll house. Um, there's some really cute rulers. Um, this saw can definitely go in you know get some metal paint change the color of the handle all of these spanners easily easily can work inside there um, there's I do have a lot of spanners so I can make a, a little toolbox um, there are some smaller rollers but there are also some larger rollers inside there. I mean I wouldn't really use that for it but that could definitely sit inside a toolbox or on a table somewhere. What else do we have? There's like a little toolbox thing. There's an arrowhead which obviously you can't use for for that unless you're going to make some sort of sculpture that could be cool. Um, if I could bend it as I think these are made of alloy so if I could bend it somehow I could probably make a shovel or something. This is quite cool. A little Swiss Army knife, put a bit of red enamel paint on that, that would look awesome. Some larger hammers, screwdrivers, a little drill, and there's a few, what, maybe ratchets? I don't think there'll be axes, maybe ratchet. I don't know, I don't really know the difference, but those are really cool. And then there's also, I've got a meat cleaver inside there. I have a couple of these already. I went to a steakhouse in London and as your tokens claim an ice cream, they gave you these and you hand them in at the other side. And uh, obviously I didn't hand mine in for a ice cream and I didn't allow my friends to get an ice cream either because I had all of their meat cleaver tokens. So, um, yeah, very happy with that. So like I say, that is £2.24 for the 50 gram bag. I don't know if there's more inside the collection, so I don't know if you just get a lot more of the same thing if you do get the larger weights. Um, I think the, the lowest weight, I think it's 20 gram, I think. Um, yeah, I definitely have some uses for those. I did get some a few beads and jewelry findings and so on because I am finding more and more that these are really, really useful. So I got these little things and when I look at these I see things like um, I can make um, like draw pulls um, or I think I seen um, Jolene use these on something recent I'm sure I did um, from Tiny Key Hominies um, I think these are what she used I think it's wall, wall lamps I think um, Possibly, or it could have been something that looked like it, but they're just little teardrop shapes with a little head. So I think I'm going to turn those into draw balls to go on my sex shop on the cabinets there. Um, and then I also got these. So I didn't realise that these were two different sizes. And so we have some very, very tiny little heads like that. 
and then we have a larger one. I don't really know what I use them for other than um, putting into resin jewellery or something, but I would definitely find a use for them in miniature worlds. And the, the small one, which is 6.5 by 3 mil in the colour black, they were 148. I don't know how many is in there, it doesn't say, uh, but there is, there's a lot inside there. And then this silver one was £2.69, and these are 0.5 cents, but oh, they're 5 millimeters for those. So uh, those are cool. But then I also found these little things. Um, i seen Heather Tracy make a snuffer, a candle snuffer out of these things, but they could also be good for building up, you know, lamp bases or whatever because i don't have any beads in that shape so i was hoping to find more but i couldn't really find the type of things i was looking for so i didn't get as many as i wanted but they will all add up and i find uses at some point and then you also found these little nail charms and these were 98p and these are our um cogs and i think i can see a couple of a few clock uh, what you call them hands and because I do want to make a, a miniature clock for Prof Professor Okio's house. I remember when I was a child, my nan had one in the dome and you could see the workings like that. And I want to create something like that again. Um, well, I want to create something like that. And uh, so that's why I got those. These are really cool. 98p. I also found these. So these are in the nail art section and these are 3D and they're little cherubs. And these were £2.68. And I got these because I thought these would be really handy for sticking on if I want to make something like a, a garden feature, water bath, bird bath, um, you know, anything like that. Maybe just some um, roll art or whatever. And then paint them in to make them look like, um, like they're made of stone. So they're all so far. Okay, so there's six different designs, and we get how many pieces? Yeah, six types, and there's 24 inside there. And so we have, this is really cute. It's a little cherub, and she's blowing a kiss. That's adorable. We have a little cherub resting its hand on its cheek, that was beautiful. We have one that's a little bit creepy looking and looks like it's playing a little instrument, like a banjo or something. Okay, I actually have that one there already. Uh, this one is just being adorable, just standing there. And then, oh, this one we've already looked at, that one. So where's the other designs? So we've got one, two, three, four. Okay, so there's something else in here that I'm missing. All right, okay, so here's one. Um, so there's a really cute one. And it's just holding its hands out in front of itself. Looks like it's holding something, but I can't make out what it is. It is very, very small. And I've seen that one. Okay, I don't know what the sixth one is because three, four, yeah, I can only see five. But it says that there's six styles, but I can only see five styles in that, which is fine. It's more than I'll probably ever need. And like I say, they were £2.68. So I'll pop those away in a little bit. Now, other things for miniatures. Now, I love these. I think these are really awesome. Um, I think I'll have to give them a bit of a paint job. Um, but just scattered around Professor Rokio's house. I am very excited about these. And they're little pugs. Um, they're actually advertised as hanging over fish tanks. Um, so you just hang them on the edge of something. Like I said, the, the paintwork is a little bit basic. I mean, this one looks kind of cute, but I think a little bit of... Um, coloring and so this one i want to hang over my table like he's asking for something and all of these were one pound 28 and they i think i found them in the fish section um, but they're definitely on little fish tanks so we've got that one i wonder if 
Okay, so here's my little table that I made. Oh, look at that. So if I just touch him, he could be trying to climb up. I could put a little bone or a ball on there like he's trying to get that. How adorable is that? That is so cute. Or maybe you could be trying to climb up on the settee, maybe. So there's him. And then I've got this version. They do do some cats as well, but those are not really suitable for um, like a realistic thing because they're, they're sat fishing. Which, uh, you know, I can't really use that in, in my little dollhouse setup. But we've got this guy who is having a very fun time chewing his bone. Um, so he does need a bit of paint work. Um, you know, making his bone look more like a bone colour. Because it is a grey colour. And then what I'm thinking is, because he's in a bit of a weird position. And I'm thinking the same for the white pug. Is I might make a small cushion just to make it look like he's... Um, uh, laying down or maybe he could be if I make a small dog bed and maybe part of his thing his leg could be over the dog bed but I'm thinking you know something like that to make it more understandable about what's going on or maybe he's just rolling around you know dogs do don't they, they roll around as they're, they're eating their treats and everything so he's really cute and then this one is is cute for the uh, I don't really know what I'm going to do with that. Uh, so he is advertised um, as he's on a tank and he's, he's like this, basically. So that's how he's supposed to be. But I don't know what I will put him on to make him <laughs> look like that. But he's still really cute. And a bit of a paint job. Take away that plastic look, a bit of shading. And I would figure it out. Maybe he could be, if I make like a, a thin cushion or maybe a toy like a dog toy and it could just be hugging hugging into that so that would be really cute and at one pound 28 each for those those are amazing so size wise let's see so this is in miniature size so this little pug the one standing up from top to bottom he would be 22 inches long Uh, here we go 22 inches long so in real life that is one inch and just over one inch and three quarters so, very very cute and then this little guy measures at around about in doorhouse inches 15 inches and then this one He comes out about 16, yeah, about 16 inches. So those are really, 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 really cute. I will, um, these miniatures, which I'm going to updo and give little facelifts and stuff, I will share them on my YouTube channel and um, for the process that we'll be going through. So um, do keep an eye out for things like that. I also found these cards. Now these are going to go in Professor Okio's um, study. And these are, uh, what do they call it? Um, okay, I don't know what they're called, but, you know, well, like anatomy and, um, I don't know what the scientific term is. But I thought that these would make really cool posters. And these are all of the human body. So there's things like a, a torso... Um, lungs, maybe. Uh, don't know what that is. Uh, uh, I don't know, <laughs> but there. Uh, um, um, I can't think of what any of this is this evening. I've not long gone back from work, so I'm very tired. It's quite late now, but we have things like you know schools and and muscles and rib cages and skeletons and. No idea. Um, is that pancreas? Maybe? I don't know. But well, there's there's some really, really cool things. And I think, um, is that a, that's a womb? Maybe? A womb and a pancreas? 
maybe the same thing. I, I'm, I really don't know. <laughs> but, you know, hands, figures. So these as posters on the wall, I think will look really, really cool. And there's like a, a heart and so they're all of like muscles and there's, you know, long. And these were only £1.38. So if this was a poster, uh, this would be just over two feet tall. Uh, those, those are really really cool and I love how they have that sort of vintage look they had loads of different types of cards um, not just anatomy but there was um, some really cool ones I think I've seen like a like space and things like that so they were really awesome I don't have a, a use for those at the moment so I didn't order anything else but those I can definitely use in the professor's home okay so we're almost done not that much to go through now I also I ordered a load of nail art stickers and I was searching specifically for this type of theme. So there's a lot of like naughty things and obviously because I'm working on the this sex shop, I wanted to use some on these things here. I ended up making my own in the end. Um like I, I used a nail art sticker there, but then I made my own with the rest of them. But I did want to have this type of theme on them. I will still find a use for them. I'm gonna be making um, some mugs because I'm starting to learn how to use clay soon so I'll be making mugs and they'll have things like this on it um, but yeah I would have used some on this one as well but I just use my own apart from that that's a nail art sticker and that is a nail art sticker from previous packs and then the rest are homemade um, but we have this one was 89p and this is just one sheet and so there's things like um, stockings and seductive lips and um i am queen so those are some pretty cool things and then i've not opened these to see what they're all like but this is that same type of theme this one was two pounds 24 and so we have things like a naughty non black roses um is it pentagon no uh, whatever that is um a swallow Black cat, that's really awesome. I can find use for that very soon. Um, a sexy mouth, a world, a cross. Um, someone wearing a balaclava, someone being seductive. Looks like that one's a bit someone being seductive. I did find these decals on um, Etsy, but obviously they were being sold at a much higher price. Um, and they're just the same as the, the RT Timu stock, uh, but just being sold at something way more expensive than what i got i also found these really cute little things i don't actually remember putting these in my basket actually no i do know that i'm seeing that uh, so those are going on some mugs and everything and those are glittery i don't know if it's showing up because of my bad lighting but those have got glitter and those are what are those it's like a heart with a safety pin musical notes a heart with a fork knife and a heart okay so probably won't use those ones so much uh, but those are awesome and those were £1.79 I found these which I thought would look really cool making some dark magic books or something like that and they were £2.48 and they are slightly raised as well so if I wanted to paint over it and just get the um, impression of like embossed leather then those would be really awesome for that and that's just one sheet in there and then this is a seven sheet pack and these were £3.14. I don't remember what these are. I never actually realised how much I would use nail art stickers until I actually started putting them on miniatures. And I think that they're absolutely brilliant. One thing which I was doing with them is... Um, let me just pull up this thing. Where is it? My miniature house at the moment is kind of all over the place because I'm rebuilding the outside at the moment. Um, but in the upstairs, which is more of like a, a gothic room that was inspired by Wednesday, I was using them to put inside this cart. This cart was a Timu cart as well. And I've had this for a while now. I didn't show it in that hall, but I just painted it in purple and stuck on a load of decals in this um, Halloween-y theme. 
and uh, so eventually I can you know put stuff in it when I get around to it so they come in handy a lot I'm finding so though I probably won't use a lot of these for quite a while I know that they're there for when I have a use for them so this seven pack we have some cool designs um, and we have some love type theme ones lots of writing smile see these ones are writing these will be very very handy these are cool to go on like you know miniature mugs or on cups or anything like that we have a bunch of um like these are the more naughty ones so stockings um is like seductive lady poses uh, someone undoing a bra lips oh love with a paw oh that's so cute i'm going to be using that 100 percent um then that's along in those those same sort of themes like these things here these quotes they'll be really cool on miniature mugs like those will be really really cool and then we have uh some flowery type things and um, i'm not sure if i'll have much of a use for those but i'm sure i will at some point and then more flowers and then we have hearts and wreaths and things like that so those are really cool so that one was three pound 14 then we have a pack of lips i was really hoping that they would arrive soon because you know i wanted to put lips on my mannequins but in the end i just made my own and i actually prefer the ones of my own because i could size them right down to scale and even the smallest one here is uh, bigger than the ones which i put on the shoulders and the bum the more like that size than the one that i put on the bum well those are really really cool so okay this video is getting really long so i hope you're still with me because i have some really cool stuff coming up oh with these nail ones i don't remember if i showed these um but these are knitted and so i'm going to be using these in miniature candles when um the christmas season starts coming around but i am sure i seen a silicone mold which looks exactly like this so you could make your own decals in clay or whatever so i do keep meaning to have a look again for that um i keep forgetting so i must do that but these are embossed and these wrapped around little miniature candles and then painted in one color would look beautiful so very excited to use those and those were one pound six and that's just the one sheet of them um now for silicone molds I went a little bit crazy with those um so i found one set and then you know when you go down a rabbit hole and i keep buying molds and everything um so this one is a really cute head and i got a couple of a couple of heads and obviously you can't really see what this is so i'm just going to open some clay so i'll just be back in one moment Okay, so to show you the molds, I'm just using a little bit of this um, super light air dry paper clay. This is by Heart. I have actually bought some clay, which I'll show you in a moment. But this is just some stuff that I've had for a few years now. Just so, and I'm just going to use it just so that I can show you the molds. So uh, this mold, which is of a large head, um, this was two pound and eleven p. And this is the largest of the the heads. Probably not taking out enough clay but just to give you an idea of what this is so i used to um i used to do doll repainting uh, a few years back and uh, one thing which i always wanted to do was make my own dolls and uh, but like i said i'm not into sculpting but that is all going to change. And so I thought having these heads, it would, you know, give me a base point to um, jump from. So that's really cute. It doesn't have a mouth, doesn't really have a nose, but it does have some nostrils. But it's a building block. It's something plain that you can build up on. So it has some really cute large eyes, which you could really paint those to look really, really cute. Um, I would use, um, I've got some doll um, clay inside my drawer, which I've had for years now but i just never got around to using it so that's the the first silicone mold and then i found these two smaller ones so these are these were 249 each and these are getting closer to a dollhouse scale mold um probably a bit too big i'm not sure but the silicone in this this is this is absolutely solid so this one is whack it all in 
and so it doesn't have to be perfect it's only so i can show you the mold in fact you get quite a nice view of the the mold from there so that is a very angular face that looks very cool how easy is it to get out okay so i'll have to figure that out um oh that is really cool so I feel like that could actually be quite close to maybe a little bit larger, but you know the the Fison 12th scale um, models that you get, it's kind of similar to that. I'm not sure if it is male or female. I guess it could go any way, but that is really cool. I could probably make a 1 12th scale model out of that, maybe. Maybe. Maybe a little bit too big. I don't know. But I don't know if it's really showing up the detail. But it has ears. And it definitely has some defined eyes. So that is really cool. I'm really happy with that. So that's that one. And then I've got another one. And this one is more along the kind of pixie looking thing. Because it's got pointy ears. But it's in the same size scale as that. But even if you know, even if I can't use them in my one twelve scale um, houses, it's still really cool to make dolls because I used to absolutely love making my own characters with um, painting dolls. But now I have no idea if you can bake these or whatever. But there's a a closer look of that one. It is a slightly different face to that. Um, again, I don't know if it's male or female, but that is really cute. Obviously, I've not put the clay in perfect, so it has got these weird little indents on it. But you know, if you know what you're doing with sculpting, then you could really give it some nice details. And those ears are awesome. I love those. So that's really cool. But the one which I was really, really, really excited about are these two. Now... These were $2.99 each, and these can definitely be used in a dollhouse. So I will. I took a screenshot of these, and I will pop them in the next frame or two so that you can see these a little bit better. Because if you like to make dollhouse miniatures, then I think that these are going to make really cool dolls for your dollhouse. And they are slightly different to each other. Like I say, I will leave the link for these. The last time I went to look at these before my order had arrived, they'd actually sold out, so I couldn't find the link. And that's why I saved the, the photos um, to my phone when I looked at my order. Um, but they were out of stock then. So, But like I said, I think these would make really, really cool dolls for your dollhouse. And they have, um, there's little sets of ears. And like this one... You could have, um, it has like a little unicorn thing that goes up by your head. I don't really know what those are, but some of these are absolutely tiny. Um, like those are sets of ears. I think that is like a little unicorn thing. So here, we do the smallest, um, which I think will make a really cool doll for your doll's house. And to the middle one, and then the largest one. So, so you can see a little bit better. And you can also see, yeah, so that, that's a horn, and those are pointy ears, and those are even larger pointy ears, and those are really tiny human ears for that. So those sizes correspond with that, and then you have the three sizes of the horn. Just don't know how easy I can get this out. Again, really rigid um, silicone. Oh, so cute. I am 100% going to be making some creepy dolls with these molds. These are amazing. Again, forget about the, the lines and the wrinkles in there because I didn't 
smooth out my clay. And with it being white, you can't really tell. But, oh, yeah, those are going to, I'm definitely going to make some creepy dolls on my channel with those. So that's that one, which I think was that one. And then this one. Again, three sizes. The middle one looks like the smallest. Sorry, this video is getting pretty long now. I hope you are still with me. I will um, edit out some of the, the pausing when I had to go find things and everything. So that should save me maybe a minute. Um, but this one has something in the center of its head. So that is that is really cool. Um, yeah, that has a horn as well. And then super, super tiny. I don't know if these are showing up or not. I think with it being white, you can't really see. But I am very... Oh, I've just smudged this one's face. So, yeah. <laughs> kind of ruined that one. But believe me, they are really, really cute. And, um, yeah. So I'm definitely going to make some miniature dolls and put those on my YouTube channel using those molds. Those are amazing. Just pop that clay in there for now. I don't know if I'm to pack it away properly because I have a lot to go through. Okay, I did buy some more silicone molds for resin as well. So I did on a, a haul which I did on resin supplies and silicone molds, I bought the larger um, tic-tac-toe mold but it is quite big and um i've not actually used that yet because it is big and you know sticking that in my drawer it'll take up quite a bit of room like my coffee table drawer um, but this this is small this is like coffee mat like coaster size so uh, i would definitely be making this i'm going to send a few to well I'll send one to my sister and i'll have one and whatever um and this was three pound and seven p and unlike that one the large one which i've got it's um you'd have to make a, a few castings of the x and o's whereas this you've got as many as you need and i think one extra so that's really awesome and then this somehow got into my basket i don't remember putting it in but it's a button mold and um it's only cost me 57p and i didn't really know what i'll do with the button mold i don't make clothes anymore um but if ever i needed a button or if i just want to zhuzh up a shirt or whatever amazing but i will probably um make some bookmarks out of them i did just order some um some large uh, what they're called paper clips and so i'll be making some um bookmarks and so on with that and some of my other resin suppliers so on resin supplies um i also ordered these flowers so this was £1.18 and this one was £2.49. So these smaller flowers I think I'll actually use in my miniature houses um, because these are really small and I think they can make a really nice colourful bouquet. So probably won't put those in resin, um, but these will definitely go in resin and there's some really cool things in here. Some stuff I could make some bouquets with, like these tiny, tiny dry flowers, um, even this grass I could use is, you know, your oversized like grass floor standing vases and whatever. Um, but I did purchase them for resin. But we shall see. So those are awesome. And plus the benefit of that, I like getting stuff like this because the containers are so handy. So um, um, mold, I got this mold as well. And I picked this one up because it has Roman statues. Now my my brothel is called aphrodite's palace so having things like this in there um because you know i'm probably going to turn part of it into like some sort of tacky greek thing um and so i thought those would be pretty cool and that cost me three pound 98 and that is a solid silicone um mold i also uh, found these which are um nail files and my plan is with these because they are small and angular any area which i need to get into to sand down like would have been perfect for these because getting 
a larger emery board inside little areas like that when I was um, taken off from all of my things having something like that to get in there would have been perfect but alas they didn't arrive on time so not team's fault it's just me ordering too late uh, so that's that i also found these really oh they were 67p for five and then i found these really tiny sculpting tools those are super tiny the tools which i've already got are a lot bigger than that and so these, especially if I'm going to be making tiny, tiny little dollhouse dolls, um, they are going to be awesome for that. And they were £1.88. Uh, I also picked up an extruder. And that has a lot of um, different, whatever they're called on it. And that was £3.82. So I think they're a lot more expensive on Amazon for those um this is um some sort of christmas decoration now the reason why i ordered this is at christmas 2023 so last year i put together a christmas tree and i used some um it was plastic foliage but it was actually a small plastic plant which i got from ikea which i um took apart, cut apart, and reassembled as a Christmas tree. But I didn't show that in my video because I did that way before I started my YouTube channel. But I ordered this to see if it was something similar, and I think it actually is. So what I'm gonna do for um, Christmas this year, I'm going to remake that Christmas tree, but from scratch, so you can see how I did it. And so this, I actually think it's the first time I've looked at it properly since it came and I think that this is going to work. So if you want to get ahead and make a miniature Christmas tree, definitely have a look at that. It does come in some larger bundles. Um, at the time of me ordering this, they only had the smaller size, which was 15 branches and that was £1.86. And there is a lot there. I can make a few miniature Christmas trees out of that. So that was a, an awesome buy. Um, I also found some foam clay and now I've never used foam clay uh, but thinking about it looking at how it looks I think it's going to be very similar to this hearts clay um, but it's whenever I look for foam clay previously because I've needed it for doll repainting or for um, Halloween projects and whatever it was really difficult to find it in the UK so I've never actually bought it don't really know what the texture is like but looking at it it looks like marshmallow that clay that i've just used feels like marshmallow and looks like marshmallow so i think it's going to be something like that and when foam clay um dries you can you can sand it um obviously you can paint it you can do everything else that you can do with clay um but yeah i'm really excited to try that and it just come in black as well and that is six pound 47 for 300 gram so, and if it's super light, that's actually really heavy. Um, so there's that. Now, one thing which is so random, but I'm so happy that I ordered these. Now, these are toothpicks, and these are £1.89 for 500 of them. And I originally ordered these because they have the fancy things on here. I don't know if you can see it. But I always see that people in America have this sort of fancy design on the end. But in the UK, we don't have anything like that. We just have your bog standard toothpick. Now, as soon as these arrived, first thing I noticed was there is a massive, well, it's not actually massive, but it visually, it looks like a massive difference in the thickness of these, which is a really cool thing. So it seems like every toothpick, which I bought in the UK, it's a standard size by by the look of it to be two millimeter because every toothpick different brands i ever use is always two millimeter and so for me to have to get smaller pieces of wood i put them in my dremel spin them around on a against the nail file but these like, i don't know if this is standard in america or maybe um somewhere in asia where these are from 1.5 millimeter so super super thin and i already have a project coming up which i'm working on now which they're going to be perfect but that half a mil 
So I think any of us dollhouse makers or miniature makers, definitely, if if your standard is that, definitely pick some of these up because they are awesome. Really, really thin. Okay, so my Etsy haul, which I had recently done. I'm so excited about this. I've been waiting. It feels like forever for these to arrive and I don't think it's even been two weeks. Um, one of them came from Serbia and um, the other from the UK and I am in love. So inside this box, this is what came from Serbia. I will leave the link to this artist's Etsy store. Yeah, you'll find it in the description box. And I bought quite a lot from this artist. Um, I've been looking at her stuff for a while and I wasn't sure if I was going to use any of it. But as my Professor Okio's um, house has been evolving, this sort of stuff now really fits into the theme, which is not the theme which I wanted for that house. I wanted something very different. I wanted it to be gothic, then I wanted it to be dark bohemian. But it seems to be taking a turn, quite a vintage look, which I'm not mad about. Um, it is set in modern day, but I like to think that he's just sympathetic to the Victorian look. And so as he's a professor, he goes for the dark wood and the taxidermy and all of that lot. Um, but it does seem like an older house inside from a, from a different era. But these things are definitely going to go in that. So having a look through the majority of what i ordered in fact everything which i ordered as individual pieces i went for the unpainted version so that i can um, paint them as i want to and i also went for a um like a mystery box as well so i'll show you the mystery box last and these are all from the same artist so these are from serbia so i found on her store this really cute little monkey now i find these toys to be quite creepy and i think we're really calling cool that house you always see these on like i don't know creepy films or where there's a creepy moment or whatever um so i thought that would be awesome and it comes flocked and i'm thinking if this was somewhere maybe in like a, an attic or something like that that would be cool make it a little bit dusty or maybe just on a shelf in one of his rooms so i love that and i love his creepy red eyes so he where's my ruler in case you want to order this he is one inch tall sat down he's one inch tall um which is you know it'd be 12 inches in doll scale so i absolutely love him i love everything which i got from the shop it is all absolutely awesome and he was nine pound 34 for him um, and obviously I paid for all of these like I don't know this person it's not you know anything that YouTube people do I've, I've shopped for all of these um, so these things here which are going to be awesome inside that house are fossils so obviously I need to paint them to make them look like fossils uh, but those are really awesome so we have what I think is a horse by the look of it Maybe a donkey or a horse. Uh, this one is a fish. This one is a saber-toothed tiger. That one is some sort of Jurassic thing. Uh, looks like a woodlouse. I don't know what they're called. This one is a really cute little seahorse. And this one is, I think it's an alligator. Yeah, so that's re those are really 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 cool so those painted up to look like actual fossils will be amazing inside that house because he's into all of that sort of stuff toxidermy and all of those things so those were four uh, pound 13 and uh, she makes all of this stuff herself um, i think she designs it and 3d prints it and you do have the option of anything that you see here you do have the option of having a painted version as well and it's not too much more expensive to have the painted version um this thing here is a astrolabe and it has inside there are beads which would be your planets and everything and then this thing here, obviously it's not painted because I wanted to paint it myself. You build that up and then you can make your astroglobe. 
um, sorry, Astrolabe. So those would be really awesome in my professor's house. So I've actually been working on my sex shop project for the last few weeks, um, but I really want to get back onto my professor for a little bit. And especially since seeing these things, it really made me want to get back there. So my next video is actually going to be back in that house and I'll be back working in there for a little bit. And I think my plan is just to jump between the two. So when I feel like making something a bit naughty, I'm going to be on the sexual project. And then when I want to do stuff, just normal stuff um, that everyone would be into, I'm going to be um, making stuff for my professor's house. So these little things are human hearts and these are, well, first of all, this um, Astrolabe, this was £4.52 and these human hearts, these were um, 89p for the three. And so I'm thinking with the hearts, I'm going to put them in formaldehyde and have them, you know, maybe in like one of these jars or something because, you know, he's, he's a scientist, so he likes that type of stuff. I have two different types of scientist things. So these are probably from a time gone by. Uh, maybe they would look really cool in like a medieval setup or a wizard setup or something like that. Um, but I'm still going to use them inside my Professor Okio's house. I'll paint them up and then maybe have them displayed on a shelf or something somewhere. But they're, they're little scientist kits um, or laboratory equipment. And so you get little vessels in there and the stands to put them on all 3d printed pieces and those were five pound fifty each obviously these prices are more than what you pay for miniatures on timu but those are mass-produced stuff these are you know a fantastic artist just selling from my Etsy shop and i absolutely love them so this is a skeleton of a cat and this was four pounds 91 so that's really awesome. The details on it are fantastic. So she's done a really good job at cutting away the supports. So that's really cool. Now, this next lot, this was part of a mystery box and I got the more expensive one. So you have two options. You have one which is £9.82 and then you have this one which was £25.56p. Um, and what she does is she just puts random stuff in there so you have no idea of what you're getting um, I was not disappointed with mine at all um, so the first thing is these little shields now in my professor's house uh, there's going to be plenty of toxidermy and so on so these are going to be really fitting in that and the way that she's um, designed it is that it has a wooden texture on it uh, but it is just 3d printed resin so those are really awesome it also has some miniature candlesticks which i could use those in a little creepy scene and then in that same scene i could use these tiny schools which have candles on their heads and these are all pre-painted because um you know they're in the, the mystery box but I think a lot of this you can buy separately as well. And you could go for the unpainted version. So those are little skulls with the candles. These are um, syringes. This is a really cool little scientific thing. So I guess if... Um, you know, if you're in like medical school or science or whatever, a dentist, then this would be a large model for you to look at. And on the model, it has the, the bone, the gum, the teeth. And here, she's even painted in the nerves for the teeth. So that would just be really cool with something sitting on the shelf. So that's fantastic. This will definitely go in my professor's house. So this is a small statue of a, it looks like an ape skull. Um, I don't know what kind of ape, but that is really cool. And has a little stand on it. Can you see that in the bag? I'll take it out so we can have a better look at it. There we go. That's a really cool ape skull. Uh, this little thing is just like a little thank you thing. Um, what's it say? 
support our tiny family um i think it's like a, a leave feedback thing so they would definitely be getting some oh and tag us on instagram so they would definitely be getting some positive feedback from me because i absolutely love everything inside this little set and then this was part of the um the mystery box as well and this is going to go perfect inside my professor's thing for taxidermy so it comes with a um plaque shield plaque so same things as these unpainted ones so she's painted this to make it look like wood and a ram skull which is also um painted and really cool details you can see all the details in the teeth and the bridges inside the um the thing so i do do a lot of my own 3d printing and uh but i do like to buy things from artists as well and um, i do buy a lot of stuff from from artists on see so that's going to go really awesome on my wall on my professor's wall so that's those i love everything in there i'm really excited for it now the final two things because we really need to get this wrapped up so really sorry uh, i do apologize there is a lot to get through but these two are oh my god i can't believe it when i open these when i first seen these pop up on my Etsy I was just I was blown away I didn't know that this was something that you could do I now need to learn how to make these I also want to buy every single one of them from her shop I don't have a purpose for them at the moment specifically but um I will I will make a reason to have these on display but just look at that how sweet is that and he has a little necklace on so she makes these out of pipe cleaners chenille pipe cleaners and that was just the sweetest little thing so this one here and this is a uk seller and this one was eight pound 95 and she does free shipping i find that absolutely mental that is adorable i think it is my favorite miniature that i well these two are my favorite miniature and she does a load of little teddy bears she has giraffes i've seen she's got a hippo on there different types of bears um oh they're just beautiful look at that oh isn't that just the sweetest little thing that teddy bear has a teddy bear like oh <laughs> uh, that was um nine pound 95 for the brown bear again i will leave links to this artist as well um and just look at you would never think that that was a pipe cleaner like how does she do it so i i now want to learn how to do that i already started looking i came home from work on my dinner uh, to see if these had arrived and then when i went back to work i had some downtime so i was uh, quickly looking at how you make these type of things and oh I, I just love them i think they're absolutely beautiful so right we need to end this video so as always thank you for spending your time with me today i will leave the links for everything which you see me showing you in this video if the link isn't there then it's not available at the time of me um editing and uh putting the the links in there um but if you um if you just come back to the video remember just make a note of it what it is and then just have a look on on timu and then hopefully you'll find it so like i said there's some really awesome things there those are going to be fantastic for us miniaturists for making miniature dolls to go inside doll houses those are really awesome and obviously this artisan here or these artisans are oh amazing so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you you found some of it useful it is a a big random mixture of stuff um not everything for everybody's interest but uh, there is quite a, a bit there for you to um have a think about purchasing or whatever and i uh, like those little pogs amazing love those those are going to be very useful so um yeah anyway uh, thank you for watching and uh, i'll see you soon bye